Welcome, Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it could represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, I'm going to put your energy at the top, there's the bottom, but it can be flipped or reversed. All right, we have pay attention to the red flags and honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Under the deck, we have keep an open mind so your soulmate may differ for usual type of expectations. Hmm. Interesting. Clear messages and guidance, please, Spirit. What is the energy here for Virgo? Sun, moon rising, and Venus in love and in life. What needs to come through for Virgo, please, Spirit? Thoughts, feelings, intentions, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Three of Wands with the Four of Cups, the Chariot, the Hierophant, the Emperor, and the Page of Wands. Under the deck here we have the king, the, sorry, the knight of wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. A lot of passion here. Desire. Okay, there's attraction happening here. It's it's nice, okay. I do want to say some of you, okay. Now this is no, this is not for all of you, okay. I but I need to tell there's some specific Virgo out there that needs to hear this message or some cross watcher, okay? Somebody here could get pregnant. They may not even attend to do it, but it could happen. Just be careful. Uh, with this kind of energy here under the deck, I got the Nine of Pentacles, nine months here, fresh start. That's for some of you, not for all of you. Just be careful, okay? Just be careful if that's not your intentions. Um, all right, clear messages and guidance, please, Spirit. What is the energy here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not enough. Self-indulgence, heartbroken. Under the deck, we have the Chaser, Seduction, and Boat. Interesting. Very interesting reading for you guys, Virgo. Um, I mean, keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not going to be for everybody. Um, I know I say it's all the time. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't force it to fit. Um, I'm going to read this like it's you, but just flip it if it's reversed, okay? All right, it's going to be a specific message kind of week for you guys, Virgo. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, so be careful. That's what I gotta say. And I kinda get the sense like you could be going away with somebody. This feels like getting away for the weekend or something. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And I feel like I, you know, I do a lot of readings. It's hard for me to remember specifically each week. Um, but I feel like I've said this to you in the past, um, even a few times, I feel like you guys have gotten this card and I get like the sense of you guys going somewhere or planning some kind of trip something I mean I get real strong like hotel kind of vibes here or like getting away uh, hmm. okay we're gonna get into it so ace of pentacles there's something new happening here you've been waiting for this planning this out seven of pentacles putting time energy into this and like I said it's not for every single one of you so don't panic okay I mean it's the if you're being careful, you know what I'm saying. But for some of y'all, just nine months could be kind of interesting, all right? That's all I want to tell you. Something new happening here. There's stability in this. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the Ace of Pentacles. It's a fresh start, a clean slate. I would just be kind of cautious, right? If you, I'm, I, I have to. If you, <laughs> for whoever this is for, uh, whatever's going on here, you know, you know, you're having some fun here, but just be careful, right? That's I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna drop that now. <laughs> but it needs it needed to be said. You waited for something. There's some kind of opportunity, something coming together finally for you, Virgo. We have the Three of Pentacles here and the Page of Swords. So you're wanting to work with this person, but you don't know if you fully trust them. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You're nervous, okay? Maybe you're investigating this person. 
or they could be doing this to you. It all could be reversed, okay? Um, yeah, you can kind of watch this person. Some of y'all want to say you could be watching this person at work with this kind of energy. I mean, you're really inspecting them. I mean, you're looking this offer over. You're making sure it's authentic, it's sincere. They are who they say they are, you know. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's this energy like getting carried away with this person. Not in a bad way. I mean, I feel like they want this too, but there is an obstacle. I mean, there is something here. You know what I'm saying? Knight of Pentacles, the hanged man, you could be dealing with an earth sign or a Pisces here. You want stability. You're the one moving this forward, but you feel like this person's dragging their feet or holding back, or you're nervous, this person. Something about improvising. Now, I'm going to try not to let this go to a dark place. <laughs> because, because, I mean, I'm seeing somebody suspended up here. And I'm, the word improvising is really popping out in my head. So, with this kind of energy, I'm just... Right? But I do but I do need to say this. And I need to say it like this. Okay? Um, there's some obstacle that has to be overcome. It's like you have to think on your feet about when it, when it comes to you. It's like, how do you get out of the situation? Or how do you... Something like that. Something like... Maybe the plan uh, doesn't go where you thought it was going to, so you have to like, kind of make some adjustments to spend time with this person or something like that. There's some kind of obstacle, this unforeseen challenge. You're inspecting, curious, making sure that there's nothing in the way or the coast is clear kind of thing. You've been waiting for this. Could be plans for quite some time. Could be seven uh, months to a year. Could be seven years. Um, I don't know. Um, if it feels, um, I mean, face of pentacles. It just feels like you've waited a while for this. You could meet this person at work. You could already know this person. Waiting for them to drop hints. That might be part of it. You're waiting for this person to drop some kind of hint here. Uh, have expectations of this person. All right, we're going to hop into their energy. We have enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So they are enjoying your energy, Virgo. Okay, they like spending time with you, being around you. Three of Wands, Four of Cups here. This person's waiting. They highly anticipating this here with you. Four of Cups, they feel kind of um, lonely. I kind of want to say they're waiting for you to come in. Meet them halfway. Like I said, there's some kind of improvision kind of thing, like improvising or so something. Something. I don't I don't know what this is. It's um, Actually, I might pull a card on this. What What is this, please, Spirit? It's like they're having to wait for you to kind of meet them. Maybe there's an obstacle here, a challenge. What is this about, please, Spirit? Okay. So, yeah, there's like an offer. It's something about this offer. It's like be able to extend it here. They're nervous about it. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Four of Cups. Clarifying Four of Cups. Funny, Spirit. Okay, so... Yeah, it's like someone here is really confused. They may even have options. You're waiting for them to make some kind of choice to move towards you, to bring in this cup of love. You feel rejected right now. You're kind of in your head about it. You're waiting for some kind of green light from this person or like the, the coast to be clear, perhaps. Something about travel or meeting this person or seeing this person. Um, it doesn't play out the way that you thought that it would, but I mean, I see something happening here. We have the chariots. This is about travel prepar preparations plans. You see the chariots, Cancerian energy. It's not always about, you know, jumping in the car, rushing off. Okay, it can be, but you see this car, they're actually prepping the horse. They're not on it. They're not ready to go. They're planning, preparing for this. Okay, they're bridling the horse, putting the saddle on, brushing the horse, doing all those things. Okay, they have to do those things first. There's steps that have to be taken. Um... We have the Hierophant, could be a Taurus here. Um, you're learning a lot from this person, studying this person. They could be studying you. I mean, look at how there's mirroring energy here between the two of you. There's mirroring energy. Like, you're wanting to work with them. Like, I mean, I kind of see somebody packing their bags here in this energy, okay? And I kind of see somebody preparing, planning here. Uh, strong mirroring, like, you're both anticipation of this, okay? Um, in this energy, we have the Emperor, that is Aries energy, and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The emperor is the embodiment of all kings, okay? He's strong and brave and passionate and understanding. Uh, what you would look for in a partner, like male or female, doesn't matter. You'll see this person in a very good light. There definitely could be a very strong age difference here with this page, which can be a more youthful energy. And we have the emperor, who's definitely someone much older. Um, 
they like this about you though they they feel like you are regardless of your physical age okay they feel like you're fun you're exciting you know um they, they it's refreshing for them just to kind of be around somebody who just has like a more positive kind of um open look on life okay there's something changing here, okay? King of uh, Knight of Wands knows what he wants, okay? He's not a pentacles. They see your energy here, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They definitely could have strong fire in their chart. They're looking at you, okay? Knight of Pentacles, independent, confident, successful. You're a little bit mysterious to them. They they see something here. They're taking a chance. They are meeting you halfway. Something's going on here. Uh, the star, that's Aquarius energy. A strong Aries energy there. We have the Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be a little bit confused because they could be in a, a higher level of commitment. They could be in a marriage or something. With a star here, it's about wish fulfillment. It's what they want, though. They're trying to figure out how to make it happen. They see long term here. Four of Wands, you could, they could feel like you're their twin flame, soulmate kind of energy. We have seduction, so attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. We have boats, so. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. You could be careful that this person's a player. They do kind of have like an in and out energy, but I do feel like they're, they are set on making this happen with you. Um, it's like finally you're going to get some kind of closure in the situation. I feel like something, for some of you, I do need to, I need to like re refresh your memory. Some of you, be careful, okay? Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. I kind of feel like this person's a little bit frustrated. They've been waiting for this. They're in their head about this. They want this. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. They definitely could have got out of a bad relationship or they could be nervous of something or leaving something behind. Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-work, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. They're indulging in this energy. They're choosing to move forward with this with you. Keep an open mind. Maybe they didn't expect you know, the differences here. Like maybe they're more settled and mature, really, you know, and you're just like, or vice versa, okay? Or maybe the, one of you is, you know, more fun and free-spirited and really settled, you know, but this, it's kind of like there's some kind of like you're different okay you're fun you're exciting um you're you make them feel alive okay you, you have like the spark like that uh fresh outlook on life this person i feel like they've just been kind of stuck in this nine to five rut for a long time uh they're enjoying this energy with you they're embracing it all right so this was your reading please remember to like comment and subscribe i am wishing you all strength and many blessings Bye bye